the king of the division at 147 is making his exit and uh, it will be a new a void that, that need to be filled at 147. So we're looking at it, of course, uh, the, the outside of turn after conquering the one. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Rick Millionaire Moves. And uh, we are checking out this video. Devin Haney sends fight offer to Terrence Crawford. By the way, I found the AI voice and these videos do very well. They're all AI. And uh, yeah, breaking, uh, it, I'll, I'll give you the voice. The voice is, if you care, it's naturalreaders.com and it's on that site. Anyway, let's continue. 140 pound division. Devin Haney and his team have ambitions to move up to the 147 pound welterweight way, division and make a name there. Bill Haney is also open to Haney, challenging the likes of Jaron Boots Ennis and others at 147. Eddie Hearn, however, cautioned Haney about the challenges at welterweight. Hitting harder, I think you'll be more robust. But once you start moving to 147, you're in with bigger guys that can punch very, very hard as well. But it's a more matchup, Terence Crawford against Devin Haney's. I mean, it's a tremendous fight. And so Hearn believes Crawford versus uh, yeah, Haney is a. It does have a point there, but let me tell you something. I'm the guy right here who said Haney would outclass Regis. People look down on it. Some people made comments. I even highlighted one. I don't know boxing. I'm a casual fan because they don't realize what they're dealing with. They didn't look at my old videos. They don't realize my track record is on point. They don't realize I won prizes with Showtime for predicting fights going on streaks. And it's all documented. I have all the receipts. Don't hate. Appreciate. Let's continue. Tremendous <laughs> fight. But what has Devin Haney and his team planned after conquering junior welterweight? Should he move up to 147 pounds or establish himself in the 140 pound division? Let's find out in this video. Devin Haney's recent performance against Regis Prograis has been nothing short of a masterclass. Yeah, I said it would be this, and it was a really good fight. Kinda. I said, why is it on pay-per-view? It's an outclassing. It should be just on a regular championship boxing night. But, you know, some people, they don't see it until after hindsight's 2020. A lot of the fake boxing experts, so-called boxing experts, they think they know everything, and they're wrong a lot. They know a lot about the sport, some of them. I'll give them credit, but they just can't predict fights on point right it's usually like a lot of fails with that but they you know big deal it's a sport it's a fun i do it for fun so yeah haney to me is the truth people should be ducking and dodging uh because he this guy can win fights i can't wait to see davis versus haney i hope they fight before they're in their 30s and it's not milk to death but check this out breaking devin haney sends fight offer to terence crawford it's a great way to get clicks and views i don't see that in the title uh, being addressed yet. I don't know if any of it's true, but hey, you got to do what you got to do on YouTube. People love drama and you got to do this to compete. I'm not hating. I'm appreciating. I'm learning. To, you got to you kind of got to do that. All right, let's continue. Showcasing his exceptional boxing skills. His victory over Crazy. Pro Grays, a two-time world champion, has solidified Haney's position as a formidable force in the boxing world. At just 25 years old, Haney has already fought six different world champions in seven title fights, marking him as a generational talent in the sport. But there's a lot more chat PT, you know, chat is really good. AI can write good scripts, but sometimes it messes up a little bit. But anyway, check this out. It's crazy because like I said in the video when I predicted the Regis fight versus Haney, I said he already beat Loma. Even though it was close, some people said uh, Haney lost to Loma Chenko. I didn't think so. That should have been the coming out party, but nope, that he had to go through Regis to prove it. And uh, the Regis fight was much more easier, as I said. It's crazy how on point I was with that prediction. And the four or five fights before that that came true that I predicted. But anyway, let's continue. To achieve for Haney. And it looks like his dad, Bill, is setting the path for his son. Safe to say that we're available. You know what I mean? And listen, I don't want to get Bill's in this construed by saying I want tank because then they think something else. You know what I'm saying? We're available. You know what I mean? We're available. After proving himself at junior welterweight, Bill Haney, Devin's father and trainer, expressed the possibility of Devin moving up to the welterweight division and challenging the big names there. Haney believes that this potential move could be a decision that could redefine his career and reshape the welterweight landscape. Bill knows what's up. Bill knows that they can get big money. But let's see that fight. Davis versus Haney. That's the fight. The Crawford thing isn't realistic. It's really good clickbait, though. Uh, this, got, this video got like 55,000 views, 55,000 views in like 24 hours. And a lot of subscribers are gained. Uh, apparently, boxing fans like being... Uh, they don't mind the mistitling in, in, in fake narratives. So, hey, let's keep doing this. Let's continue. I'm not saying me. I'm not saying me. I'm saying the video, whoever's doing it. More. That's the way YouTube is these days. Let's continue. 
Bill Haney, Devon's father and coach, has been <laughs> instrumental in this strategic consideration, recognizing the opportunities and challenges that await his son in this new weight class. This move is not just a step up in weight, it's a leap into a realm where legends are made and legacies are forged. At 147 pounds, the competition is fierce and the stakes are higher. This division has historically been a battleground for some of the sport's most iconic figures. For Haney, moving up to this weight class is more than just adding a few pounds. It's about adapting to a new set of powerful and skilled Haney opponents. Is nice. The welterweight division demands a blend of speed. By the way, this video is all fair use, you know, and don't even try to copyright. I'll counterclaim so quick. And I got a P.O. box done, done it many times before I win most of them, so don't even try it. As you get more views, people start to hate. Anyway, let's continue. Power and tactical acumen, <laughs> all of which Haney has displayed at 140, but will need <sighs> to amplify at 147. 47. He's the boss. He'll get a chance to decide, of course, Eddie will, will do uh, his best to put things on the table. Uh, we'll strategize and give Dev. Terrence Crawford, the reigning king of the 147 pound division. This is slick. He's basically taking clips and making it seem like this fight's going down with Terrence Crawford. This is uh, very out of context editing, but this is what generates views. So let's pretend that Crawford's going to fight Haney. Let's just make it up. Um, I, I think Bill, the father, knows he's very smart. Uh, to, to, you know, Haney's got a good team behind him, especially the dad's got his best interests. So in millionaire moves like this channel, you want the most money. If it doesn't make dollars, it don't make sense, right? Like Floyd always said, <laughs> Money Mayweather. Before he was pretty boy Floyd, then he turned to Money Mayweather. But yeah, you want to be smart because you get one shot each time out because you never know when you're a fighter, especially if you're going to get permanently damaged or you're going to lose a fight. So... It's in Haney's best offer, uh, best, it's his, you know, his dad is there, so they want to take the best offer. It's in his best interest to take the biggest paying fight, of course, obviously. It's business. This is a business, and the more lucrative, the more money, that's the fight you're going to see. But over time, unfortunately, people, even, even Haney, he could fight a lot of lesser opposition and rank up a bunch of wins now, while Javante Davis does the same thing, safe fights, like with Garcia. I know Garcia is a good fighter, but he's not in lead. He's not up there. Haney would take him out just like Hank did, or just really beat him. Um, so they want, you want, they, they can get, pad their records with as much fights as they can because they're making money they're making more and more money you understand so it's like cashing in all your chips so the way i can make that very clear if you don't know what i'm talking about is like anthony joshua why didn't anthony joshua fight while there a long time ago is because eddie hearn his promoter knows he would get knocked out there's a good chance so why would he have him he'd rather have him fight like it backfired like a andy ruiz you know because you get a couple million here you get a couple million there you make some millions fighting easier opposition or who you think is easier. Sometimes upsets happen. It happened. Joshua got beat by Andy Ruiz, Madison Square Garden, the big upset. Sometimes that happens. But that's what... So what I'm saying is that's why you haven't seen him fight Joshua. Now I feel at 34 years old, the fight's coming on December 23rd. Joshua is going to be on that card to promote the Wilder fight because they're going to probably cash in all the chips. I heard tentative date is in March now that Joshua Wilder might be made. Even if one of them lose, which ain't going to happen, most likely with Wilder, Joshua, I don't know. He's an unknown because he doesn't have the confidence. In a prior video, you can check that out. I talk about the psychology of boxing and Joshua. So going forward, wrapping this all up and putting into context as far as Haney and his dad goes and his camp with Crawford and with Davis, why would they want to throw Haney in there again with, they already made their name with Loma that was a big risk he won now with Regis they thought some people thought I don't I know Bill because I, I knew it imagine what his dad knew and Haney they knew they were going to dominate that fight that's why they were so confident and I could see that before the fight so why put him in there with G Gervonta Davis next when they can make several million fighting easier fights before the Davis fight it's business that's the way money goes in your life in everyone's life you always strategize to make the most money so that's what's going to happen here that's the way i have to see this playing out as far as crawford why would you fight haney at this point in time i don't i don't think the money is going to be there crawford needs a bigger name like alvarez he's trading up he would he would go up and wait and fight alvarez and it would probably be a more lucrative fight and crawford's at the end of his career 
hey, and he's too young. They're not going to fight. I can guarantee it. So breaking down this uh, video, Devin Haney sends fight offer to Terrence Crawford. It's all BS. It's all just made up uh, chat talking in circles with the AI. And, uh, you know, I'm not, like I said, I'm not hating. I, I, I'm going to probably have to go do this. I got the program. I know how to do this. I know how to put these videos together. And uh, it just costs, you need to make a little investment with the AI programs, you know, but it's easier. You can pump videos out like crazy. And it seems the boxing community and fans don't mind. They rather see this because the views are off the charts with a lot of these videos, even on low, low subscribe channels. Well, I tell you the people that do this for a living, those big boxing channels, they're they're probably not happy because they're going to compete with ai now judging by reaction the reaction i'm doing to this video that's the this video is all mostly done in ai uh everything so anyway anyway that being said i'm not going to sit through this entire video if you want to check out the original video see what it delivers you can check it out link in the video description below it's your boy just talking about boxing, things I like to talk about here. If you like what you're seeing here, subscribe. If you doubt on my boxing knowledge, I, I challenge you to go check out my prior videos over the years. And way over 65, I think 75% accuracy in predicting fights. It's all there. I went on streaks down uh, legendary because I won prizes. <laughs> anyway, who cares about that, right? Well, if you like boxing, you're probably into it. I'll be back with another one. I'm out.